edition of Tech Talk. I'm John Murphy. Our guest today is Lou Mendelson, president of Mendelson uh, Enterprises uh, in Wesley Chapels, Florida. Yes. Uh, Lou, you are a proponent of the use of neural networks in financial market right. analysis. We'll talk about that a little bit uh, toward the end. But maybe even more importantly, uh, your view of market analysis as it's performed today, you're a big proponent of maybe a new approach to market analysis, which you refer to as synergistic market yes. analysis, and that feeds into the neural networks. Why don't you explain to us what exactly is synergistic market analysis? Uh, this is a method of analysis that I've been working on for the last several years that recognizes the globalization of the world's markets over the last uh, six or to eight years, in which the markets have become very much interdependent and interconnected with one another in a way that had never before been seen. The 1987 crash was probably the first instance of a really global market phenomena that occurred. And synergistic market analysis recognizes this and endeavors to take into consideration these intermarket relationships and fundamental factors that affect mar target markets so that rather than looking simply internally at one market at a time as a single market approach, we're able to synergistically look at the entire range of markets and their effects on one another. And you also do something very unique, which is you take technical analysis into market analysis, which I, I think they're sort of related, yes. and fundamental analysis. Right. And, and your view is that you can't u use even one of those by themselves, that they even fit, uh, they even fit together. And that, that's part of this, that's, this whole concept. That's right. In fact, synergistic analysis is really an amalgamation of those three forms of analysis, combining them together in one quantitative framework for analysis. And so but this raises this raises another question though that if if you accept this, you're going to look at economic analysis, technical analysis, and intermarket analysis, and we know I apply a lot of intermarket analysis. You start looking at all these markets and how they relate to each other, and you start looking at these markets globally, you're dealing with hundreds of possible intermarket relationships and then you bring economics into it. How in the world this, this makes it very difficult very, for the average human being to do this. Very difficult. Um, in fact, most traders, while they acknowledge that the markets are globally interrelated, really are doing very little in the way of intermarket analysis to date in their, in their uh, trading uh, activities. Uh, the reason that I became involved in artificial intelligence four or five years ago, and neural networks in particular, is simply because of the fact that there is so much data available, quantitative data, even qualitative data, uh, it's, it's nearly impossible for a human being to look at charts, overlay charts on one another and, and attempt to make sense out of the relationships between all of this data. There has to be some type of a mathematical tool that can, can uh, use computing capabilities to do so. And even I'm aware, uh, as we do our analysis, we look at a lot of comparison charts. We look at bonds versus stocks, for example. And I'm aware of the fact that we're only looking at the tip of the iceberg. There are many others going on. But also, uh, the whole, even getting back to the technical analysis idea, the idea of single market analysis. I mean, this has been, over the last hundred years or so, technical analysis had a very inward look. You analyze each market by itself. And your, your view is that that concept is almost obsolete. My view is that it is very much obsolete. Uh, it's uh, too limited in scope. It's not taking into consideration these interrelated effects that are occurring in the marketplace. Uh, and in fact, uh, I believe that by, by the end of the century, really what we'll end up with is one world global market. And each of the individual markets that people are now focusing on will really just simply be components of that one market, different facets of it. And in order to really be able to look at the relationships and, and get an early warning signal in one market, you have to look more broadly at, at the other related markets. And that leads us to neural networks. Now, now how, do, how do neural networks feed into this whole philosophy? Neural networks uh, are a mathematical tool that we use uh, that it is able to look at a large quantity of data going back many years in time, uh, data that en encompasses a number of markets, and it can find patterns and relationships in that data so as to be able to give insight into a particular target market that someone is trading. Now this graphic shows that, that you have the, your three areas blended together. That leads us, all that data gets fed into the neural yes. network, and then the neural net network with the use of software, which you develop, yes. you, you've helped develop, then gives you some guide as to where you would be looking in the market at this point. That's right. And the computer does that for you. Yes. Now for the average investor, 
who might be interested in doing this, you can do it with a computer. The computer power is there, it's the there. hardware. Absolutely. You can buy an IBM compatible, a 386, 486. That's, the problem is the software, and that, I guess that's where you come in. Yes. This is beyond the reach of most people as far as developing the software is concerned. For the most part, the average trader is not really going to be able to effectively uh, implement a neural network from scratch and be able to apply it to intermarket uh, dynamics in the markets. Uh, the expertise that's required is, is broad-based. It requires obvious knowledge about the financial markets. There's considerable knowledge of computer science and mathematics that's involved. So it really is a team effort that would be needed to, uh, to implement this uh, effectively. And this is what your firm does. Your, your right. firm develops this software. Yes. And uh, well, let's, let's put up an address, because I want to make sure that our viewers, if they want to pursue this and learn a little okay. bit more about it, I know you've written many articles in this. In fact, I made reference to one that uh, you had published, and I think Technical Analysis yes. Magazine. Actually, that's what caught my attention. Let's mm -hmm. put up this address for those of our viewers who might want to contact you and learn more about this. Uh, it's Mendelssohn Enterprises, Inc., uh, 25941 Apple Blossom, uh, Wesley Chapel, Florida, 33544, and of course, uh, there is the phone number. And also, you, you also mentioned even in the whole area of technical analysis in the sense that we're looking at a much broader application. And synergistic is, in your view, this is the wave of the future. Yes, because the markets are global markets today. And uh, traders have to have a global perspective on trading. They have to be able to implement a, a global trading strategy in order to have a competitive advantage in the 1990s. Uh, I tend to agree with you, and that's the direction my work is going. Yeah. Lou, we're going to have to leave it at that. Thanks okay. a lot for coming Thank up. Thank you very much, John. Uh, my guest today has been uh, Lou Mendelson, president of uh, Mendelson uh, Enterprises.